What's up guys? PBME24 here, coming at you with another Minecraft video. Alright, uh, what's up guys? Uh, this isn't really gonna be a series, I guess. I, I guess I'll just do them whenever I feel like doing them. Just cracking my knuckles there. Uh, yeah, it's basically a Rube Goldberg machine, if you've ever heard of that. If you haven't... Um, they're basically Minecraft redstone contraptions that do very simple tasks in a very complicated way. Uh, in the intro there, you heard a whole bunch of pistons firing, uh, something dispensing something, water that's going very annoying right now. Going to be very, un I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. I just want to get right into this. Uh, it's sort of going to serve as an explanatory video sort of thing of like redstone circuits i have a couple set up behind me here these aren't part of the contraption i'll show you part of the i'll show you the contraption right now actually because we'll get right into it uh yeah what fly fly there we go this is it for whatever reason i'm lagging right now i think it's just the my recording software is just making it all choppy like that that's something I like, but yeah, this is the whole thing. Uh, yeah, it's all reset right now, so I'll fire it at the end of the video, but okay. So, you saw me flick this lever, and it's not opening the door. Why? Because this torch, this torch is opening this door. I actually place the door on its side, so this is its open state. So what we want to do is depower this torch. You can see, uh, this piston is extended, okay? Under there is a piece of redstone that'll hook up this one tick clock. Let me hop out of here and explain what a one tick clock is. This is a one tick clock, or a burnout switch, is as it's uh, sometimes called. You can see that the torch flicks on and off because it's powering itself so fast at, you know, a one tick rate that it actually just burns out and says, I give up, I don't even care, screw life. And, uh, yeah, so that's what happens, and, uh, then the torch is off and the door would open in that case. <sighs> Let's move on. Okay. So, that's gonna burn out the whole thing, okay? Okay. Uh, this repeater is just here because I didn't want redstone lines, uh, connecting. So why is this torch, uh, turned on extending the piston? Because it's not receiving power. Why is it not receiving power? Because this redstone repeater here is locked by this one, okay? Why is it locked? Because this torch is powering it. How do we depower this torch? Uh, we go through this little inverter here. And that is powered by this line, right? So this has to happen when power comes through here, extends all these pistons, right? And a signal goes through the sandstone blocks and, uh, you know, uh, and into this line, depowering this torch, okay? So, once this repeater over here is unlocked, how do we power it? Well, you, uh, I forgot this. I did this part a long time ago. Actually, okay, um, this comparator is in, uh, whatever. I, I have no idea what the two modes are, but, uh, it works, so I'm not questioning it. This repeater is supplying a 15, uh, a signal strength of 15 into this comparator, right? Okay. This one is powering a signal, is putting in a signal strength of 14. Actually, wait a second. Is this even functional? Is it, did this even do what I, I wanted it to do? I have no idea. I don't care, it works. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This side input, uh, has... I, oh my god, it's so hard to explain because I don't even know what, what it's doing, but basically this 
Redstone Torch is preventing this comparator from outputting, uh, actually no, it is outputting signal. Alright, whatever, we're just gonna leave that bit alone. I screwed this whole thing up right here, right? But it still works, so basically you just need to power, depower this redstone torch. Let's just leave that alone. Okay. So, how do you depower this torch? After this signal... Oh, wait, I, I know what happened. I know what happened. I don't, I don't, I don't. to reset this thing after uh, after I tested it. So this comparator is just outputting a signal because it can. And it, uh, so when this unlocks, it just immediately powers it. You know, this whole repeater chain line thing here, just ignore it. We, we don't care about this. Uh, I think it's seven and a half uh, second delay. No one cares. Okay, so obviously you need to get power down there. How do you get power down there? You need something to power this redstone line. That is this redstone block. So this is a big piston chain thing. Uh, each piston is uh, separated by two ticks. So how do you power this whole piston chain thing? Well, a skeleton is spawned here, right? And this command block over here sets the time to 500, which is the sun is like right there. So once this skeleton spawns, it's gonna immediately look for shade. And that's under these blocks, so it's gonna step on these pressure plates. And that's gonna send a signal through here, right? This signal is gonna go through this monostable circuit and quickly run over. Did I set one of these up? No, I didn't. Okay, because I'm because I'm smart. Uh, let's quickly grab some of these. Let's get a repeater. I didn't even need to type that whole thing in. Monostable circuit, right, okay. Monostable circuit basically sends a one tick pulse through redstone, right? Okay, so this thing is gonna be on three ticks. There we go, okay, so this torch is off when you apply power to this torch. This is gonna send a one tick pulse out. Actually, I think they fixed it so it's not, wait, I need it. Yeah, so it is still one tick pulse. They just, how I was testing it with a piston, it, uh, uh they must have fixed how, uh, how pistons only need uh, two ticks to retract or something. I have no idea, but it works. So I'm not gonna question it and, uh, there are mobs spawning. I usually have this on peaceful, but ah, no, ah, no, stop clicking things. Okay, so. Okay. I just need it on easy mode for that skeleton to spawn, so I just leave it on. But okay, so yeah, that's what happens. Sends a, it, I just wanted a pulse, right? And originally i had a dispenser that was supposed to fire health potions and kill the, the skeleton but you know it wasn't working so i just decided to put this in uh so it just makes it a pulse because i needed these pistons to retract as well all right so how does this skeleton even get spawned right this and gate quickly run right over here and gate this is an and gate basically means when both this torch and get it and this torch are pow or depowered this torch is powered so how would you do that obviously you need to power both tor uh, depower both torches so you need to power these blocks you can see if just one is well one is depowered the other one is still just gonna be powering it torch remains off both are eh, redstone line whatever Okay, so that's an AND gate. So, how are these two, oh, bats still spawn, dang it. Okay, how are these two torches powered? Or depowered, or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, let's go with the simpler one first. You can see this line. This is uh, a circuit that actually has many, many names. Uh, 
it could be called a two tick clock which I guess it would technically be because this is a one tick clock this is a three tick clock so uh, so one with two ticks would be a two tick clock I guess but it's not really a clock because it doesn't keep going around uh, I call it an inverter but I think the technical technical name for it is a T flip flop if you've ever heard of that uh, but yeah so uh, let's get rid of these oh wait no this is fine so this is the two tick clock right this torch powering this block depowering this torch no power right when you power this and turn off this this is going to turn on and invert the signal right and it's going to stay like that forever until you power the other side now it just it keeps flipping right that's why it's called a t flip flop flip flop flip flop flip flop flip flop uh, but I call it an inverter because it inverts signals, I guess. But this powered torch is powered when you hit that button. So that's where it all starts. Except for the other one. <laughs> okay. When you hit the button, you also signal, uh, trigger this, right? This, okay. Actually, three tick clock. This is a three tick clock. Let me show you what a three tick clock is. Uh, that's a five tick clock. Three tick clock. Is this the three tick clock? Yes, it is. It is. Okay. That's a three tick clock. It is slower than a one tick clock, right? You can see that blink, 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 right? But not. F but not fast enough so that it uh, burns itself out. So it is still a very fast clock. In fact, it was too fast over here. I just had to put in repeaters so it's not really a three tick clock anymore it's more of a six tick clock but you know no one cares okay okay uh I, i've said okay like 50 times now clocks like this can be um can be stopped halted right by powering one of the blocks you can see these two are still off because this one is saying oh i don't care if you're not powering me i'm gonna stay off because I, this is powering me so holds the clock in place that is what this torch is doing so when you hit the button turns this torch off uh clock goes for like uh takes a couple ticks for the uh oh if you don't know what a redstone tick is i've just been saying tick 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 it's um a redstone tick is basically just i think it's a tenth of a second um yeah that it just does whatever Redstone torches take one redstone tick to uh, change uh, outputs. Uh, that's why this is so fast, because redstone dust carries no ticks. It just goes, right? And this is just going to keep burning itself out because it says, oh, well, I need to be on because nothing's powering me. So it's just going to burn itself out again. That's why uh, at the end of the intro you uh, heard the door fire again. I really wanted to avoid that, but you know, I had already done like seven takes, so. Oh, uh, I didn't use one, but this is a five tick clock. See, much slower than this one. Just prepare for seizure. See that? Blink, 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 blink. And then blink, 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 blink. Yeah, it's much slower. Stop both of these okay uh yeah so uh clock goes for i want to say five ticks or whatever basically just comes right back around and this monostable circuit uh which is actually very unnecessary that's part of the rube goldburn machine it's uh, just unnecessary complicated whatever it's not really complicated though three tick pulls one two three or no yeah one two one two three basically just makes a one tick pull i you guys figure this out i don't know i just know it works okay this dispenser fire sandstone takes a while weighted pressure plate again unnecessary weighted pressure plates uh gold ones take one to four uh entities to output a one Thing. signal i could have just put a wooden pressure plate there would have worked fine but you know i didn't feel like it again another two tick clock did i go through all those already i think i did okay 
Oh my god. Neighbors. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, this is the other side of the AND gate. When this is on, boom. Powered, right? And, you know, keeps it like that. So, that, uh, powers this torch. Does all that. And I guess the last thing to really explain is this, uh, piston contraption. Yeah. This is actually going to be one of the hardest things to explain. Okay. Redstone block is there. We need to get it over here. <clears throat> so. <sighs> pulse there. Uh, makes it a, made a pulse. Actually, the signal there made a pulse here. Uh, of, I want to say, two ticks? No. It's a one tick pulse. It's a monostable circuit. One tick pulse. I'm stupid. Okay. After no delay whatsoever, this piston fires, right? In fact, this isn't even reset. I need to reset this quickly. Okay. Piston fires, right? This signal goes down there, pops up right over here. After two ticks, this piston fires, right? Pulls this block out of the way, covers this redstone torch. That redstone dust there is powered, depowers this redstone torch. This thing pulls back. It's a sticky piston. Pulls the redstone block back. Right? After four ticks. Remember that was two. Uh, and it goes two, uh, three, four. So these actually happen at the exact same time. Which is uh, just coincidental. I actually just realized that. But you know I don't feel like fixing it. Uh, but it works. It still works. That's my philosophy. It works. Don't change anything. And uh, yeah. So this piston pushes it out that way, right? The signal also goes around here and after six ticks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just go with it after eight ticks. Actually, no, this repeater once broke when I was trying to re reset it. I just put eight ticks for whatever reason. <sighs> okay, piston fires. Again, it's a pulse, so piston also retracts. Mm -hmm. After, oh, what is this, 12 ticks, why do I have 12 ticks, 4, 8, 12, that's 6, again, still works, don't change anything, uh, after 12 ticks, this piston fires, and there's a redstone torch under there, right, so when this, er, when this piston is above it, it fires again, pushes the redstone block onto this piston right there. Okay, after, what is this? This is 16 ticks. Uh, oh, this basically just tells us to retract again. Okay, fine. Over. Uh, actually, after 20 ticks, let's just, whatever, uh, this piston fires upwards, okay? And then, this signal comes up here, and, uh, I'm just gonna reset to zero, because technically it's 16 plus all of this, but that's just big numbers, and we don't want that. So I'm just gonna go back to zero. After four, six ticks, right, right here, okay, this piston fires, redstone block is here, no, don't do that, don't do that, bad idea, bad idea, okay. piston fires here, right, after eight ticks, piston fires here, pushes the redstone block here, after four, uh, eight, uh, ten, right, just count these in increments of four, uh, off of 2, so 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, etc. And count these on uh, increments of 4. So 4, 8, uh, 12, 16, 20, etc. And so after 10 ticks, this piston fires. After 8, 12 ticks, this one fires. So it's just increments of 2. These all fire, 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 fire until this one pushes out here. Okay? Then, I think that's, uh, let's just count this real quick. Eight, uh, 
12, 16, 20, 24, uh, 28, was it that much? It was, okay, so after 28 ticks, so that must be 26, uh, this piston shoots this down, and, uh, then, actually, the next one is still on the same side, which hasn't happened yet until now, uh, after, I want to say, 30 ticks, let's see, 8, uh, 12, 16, 20, 24, uh, 28, Oh no, this is on a two tick. So this is 26, that's 24. This is 28. Okay, okay, okay. Piston pushes this out. Yep, fly. This is 30 ticks. Let's see, four, uh, four, uh, six, right there, 10. <sighs> Wait, did I do that right? Yeah, I did. 14, 18, 22, uh, 26. 30, 34, you know, I don't question it, because it works, again, philosophies, everyone, I forgot the lyrics, I just know it says philosophy somewhere in that song, no, it's a problem free, philosophy, I'm a terrible singer, okay, <laughs> but yeah, redstone block, push there, redstone signal, forget that this bit, Never happened. Never happened. Never happened. But yes, piston retracts, burnout switch, and uh, yeah, the door opens. And you know, like it said, don't mind the drawer to nothing. It's just because that's that's right there, and I don't know. So yeah, I guess I guess that's it, really. Uh, pretty, not really like hard to build. It was just hard to like come up with inspiration for all this. This bit was, <coughs> oh, sorry, so sorry, so sorry. My bad, my bad. Okay, this bit right here, this piston contraption, hard as heck to build. I did not like building that at all. Actually, I liked building it, it was just not fun. You know, interpret that however you want. I don't care. I'm just going to get rid of that. But yeah, that's all for right now. Ratings are appreciated. Like this video if you did enjoy it. Share it with your friends. You don't have to. Add it to your favorites. It was one of your favorite videos on YouTube. This video was exceedingly long. I did not need it to be this long. And, uh, bye.